Saturday from 2 to 6, steak and crab, all you can eat, beverages as well, along with beer. And, um, you know, $75 per ticket, $700 for a book of 10, um, bump houses, you know, there's a lot of, lot of entertainment going on. Um, I think we have the cheerleaders down there. We have, you know, there's just all sorts of activities that'll be happening on Saturday. We've got uh, VIPs. I know that um, tickets, if you're looking for tickets, we can, you know, you can find them on, on our sites, either one of our sites, uh, whether it's women's wrestling or men's wrestling. I know that there's a link within our sites there that anybody that wants to buy those. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a, a huge event. Weather's looking pretty promising. Saturday says a little rain, but hope not. So can't be as bad as it was in, in 18. And then uh, coming into this, this season, you're coming off of, uh, an RMAC championship winning season a year ago during the COVID shirt season. Uh, just give us kind of, a, kind of a rough outline of how the, how the early, early practices are going, the, the non-championship practices are going. Yeah, they're going well. I mean, you know, we had an influx of new freshmen this year, um, along with, you know, the, the freshmen that we had last year that we didn't see a lot of because we just really didn't, didn't have the events for them. But, um, you know, I mean, we really, really feel good about all three levels that we have, whether it's, you know, starters, freshmen, red shirts, you know, backup guys. I mean, we feel really, really good about that. You know, we're, we're, we're returning nine of ten guys that wrestled in the regional last year. Uh, Donnie being one of those super seniors, him and um, Key and Apple that uh, are going for their uh, seventh, eighth, sixth year, you know, something like Start that. Start running out of fingers soon. Yeah, and so, but you know, great opportunity for these guys that, uh, you know, able to do that. And, and especially for Donnie, where his season was cut short when he was at Nationals two years ago. So I think it's pretty, pretty important for him. But, uh, you know, I mean, you look at it, you know, Key and Key and, or uh, Colin Metzger at 33s, you know, is going to be returning. Daniel Magana was a, um, you know, uh, co freshman of the year last year. Um, got a couple other freshmen that wrestled for us last year, Nick Gallegos and um, Ryan Wheeler that were true freshmen. And, you know, all the way up through the lineup. I mean, uh, 65s right now is up in the air a little bit, but uh, we've got some guys that are working their ways to that to that weight as well. And uh, But the top four probably going to be about the same between uh, Seth Latham. You've got uh, Nolan, Donnie, and uh, Vic, uh, Carranza. Gabe Carranza, not Victor Carranza. <laughs> Gabe Carranza, you know, so, you know, guys are just, I mean, really uh, uh, wrestling well right now, doing a good job. Questions? Is it Donnie to come back for a, what is this? Is this six? I mean, wrestlers' bodies usually don't hold up, but, I mean, I know you were a workout team, but mm -hmm. just, I, I, I've still got something left. Yeah, um, that's one of the main things we've been working on is keeping my body healthy. Um, I think last year, actually, we kind of realized some things about keeping your body healthy with, you know, having to take a week off or take two weeks off here, a week off there, the shortened season. Um, I think the reason why wrestling is such a grind on the body is, you know, you, you, go, you start now in October and then you go all the way until March. How many months is that? Five of just absolute grind just pounding your body into the ground. I think we learned some things that, you know, it kind of helps to reel it back a little every once in a while to, you know, let the body recover and uh, get better so that you can be um, as healthy as you can. And I think that and in conjunction with our athletic training with Kaylee Romo, um, she's, I, I spend every day in her office for an hour or so working on my body, doing something, whether it's with my knees or my neck, um, doing something to just stay healthy. And I think that has helped tremendously. Regionals last year got moved here. Mm -hmm. This year you guys can start the season knowing that regionals are here. Yeah. Obviously everybody is trying to get to regionals, but it, it kind of adds that extra layer of story for us in the media, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's a whole kind of meat for you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I don't think there's any extra on it. I mean, it's just like any other regional tournament, whether we're driving 12 hours to Kearney, Nebraska, or we're staying home, we're sleeping in our own beds. I think it still means exactly the same to all of us. 
The only difference is that maybe we're going to have some of our, more of our friends and family here to watch in person rather than watching on the computer. I think that's about it. I think it's way important. Because? <laughs> For me not to have to travel 12 hours to Kearney <laughs> is way important. Yep. So, you the <laughs> yeah, sure yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I like if we can be at home, it's great, you know. And and you know, just how we ended last year with winning the RMX and within the regional tournament was awesome for us to finish up a year that was a was a tough year. And when you look at it across the board, I felt like, you know, Mesa had one of the best plans around in and how we handled COVID, you know. And I think it it showed in in the titles that we won and and not just wrestling, but you know, all across the board. I think we had a great year as far as CMU goes. So. I think, you know, when you look at how administration did it from presidents to the ADs to, you know, to our offices of, you know, taking the breaks like, you know, I mean, we've already taken one little break this year just because a couple guys got sick and it's like, all right, we're done for two or three days. Just just taking the breaks you need to instead of figuring out every loophole you can to, to make it happen. How can we keep these guys healthy as, you know, and be the safest we possibly can? And that's, that was a lot of last year why we, I think in the end, we wound up, we wound up healthier than a lot of other teams, except for the beginning of it. Win it again. Win it again, beat our place at nationals that we got last year, get better than eighth, more All-Americans, more national champions. I mean, the sky's the limit for our team right now. I mean, we're, we're a young team, um, and we're only getting better and better every year. So I think just every, every, every year, I think the, the ex expectations, you know, get a little higher and higher for us. I mean, I think it just, I mean, for me uh, specifically, uh, I like to be the kind of leader that just goes out and shows the young guys what to do. I'm not as much the big vocal guy that you see a lot of guys are that are out hyping their team up and yelling and crazy. I'm, I'm a lot more of the, I'm going to just do my thing. I'm going to uh, set a good example for the freshmen. I'm going to help them when they need help. Um, I'm just, you know, I just, I'm just going to be me and see where that takes them, you know. Well, no doubt, Donnie's a silent leader, you know. I mean, he leads by example day in and day out. The things that he, he does, his work ethic, and, and you'll see guys that he'll carry along throughout the year that buy into what Donnie's doing. And, you know, Donnie's a prime – I mean, he was – he had surgeries before he came out of high school, you know. I mean, after he came out of high school. So, for him, it's it's been important for him to stay healthy and then to say, okay, he's got another year. I don't think a sixth year – obviously, it wouldn't have happened without COVID, but – I think a sixth year wouldn't have happened for Donnie if he wouldn't have had a, a year like last year that could have uh, he he could take it a little bit easier, you know, and and it wasn't as hard on his body last year to be able to have a a full year this year, and we'll we'll limit some of his competition. I mean, I know he'll be, you know, chomping at the bit, and uh, you know, we'll need him certain duels where maybe some duels we may not need him, and we'll try to put somebody else in there, and you know, limit practices and give him give him day. I mean, already right now, instead of a four mile run, he gets on a bike and. And rides, you know, rides one of our bikes and that just because it pounding on his knees for four miles is not healthy, you know. So we already do that with him, and he'll be in. We're not worried about his shape. He'll be in shape. So, you know, because he works his way into that. So, but uh, yeah, we're excited about it. I think uh, I think it's good. I think we've got a, a a good chance of doing some good things, and we're excited. And that's what we didn't have last year, you know, and exactly what you're saying is we just didn't have the opens and you really couldn't gauge some of your freshmen and, and, and really it, it, you couldn't really see, um, you know, a lot of times you're, you're seeing, putting guys in the starting lineup that are, that are uh, doing well on the weekends. We didn't have that either. So it was a lot of room wrestling to say, Hey, he's the guy this week, you know, and, 
instead of seeing the production on the weekends to maybe gauge, hey, he's going to start because he's producing on the weekends. We just don't have that. We didn't have that last year. All right, questions of the week, this or that. Oh, man. Kind of Uh-oh. Hulu or Netflix? Netflix. Hulu. Netflix. Netflix. I do. I watch Longmire all the, every night. Cardio or weights? Weights. <laughs> I'm a big weights guy. Lemonade iced tea. Oh, that's a bad one. Can you say that's both? A, that's Arnold Palmer. We need an AP. <laughs> yeah. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick lemonade. Summer or winter? Um, different reasons. Different reasons. I mean, summer, I love the time off, and winter, I love, we're wrestling. For Grand Junction, winter. It's too hot in summer. And then this one's designed for you guys. Steak or crab? Ah, uh, crab. I think I'm a steak guy. 